Hi everybody and welcome to morning coffee break. I'm still feeling a little bit rough, but I'll be fine in a couple days. Just goes with it, but it's worth it. Keeps me out of the hospital. And I don't want to have surgery number 15. I'll tell you that, 14's plenty. Okay, let's see. Today's Sunday, July 23rd. Uh, currently it's 70 degrees. High today's 84. No chance of rain uh, so far, as it says. I don't know if that'll change at all. Uh, but we need to mow. I didn't know that one. We're gonna mow on Monday. We don't mow on Sundays. Uh, no chance of rain and winds at four mile per hour. It's not, is this pen not gonna write? Okay, now it is. Okay, I should have got some pens at Walmart, but you know, even pens aren't that cheap anymore. It's like five something for four or something like that of decent ones. And uh, decided to wait until the first of the month. So I found the old Vic stick or probably even a cheaper one. Big. It works though. And speaking of that, there'll be a Walmart haul today. We went and we needed some things. Uh, and also, uh, we didn't go crazy. I had an Ibotta on some uh, Axe deodorant rebate and you know I tell all about it in the, of course in the haul but it wasn't a super big haul but uh, you know it's stuff that I thought was interesting and also we got some things that we're going to be trying on Logan's show and a couple that I'm going to be trying on mine they're these uh, fruit juices I can't remember what they're called now but they're, they're new I guess because I've never seen them at Walmart before and, um, we got some new Kit Kats, the Churro Kit Kats. Uh, we'll be trying that one on Thursday, if, if, it, if it's on Thursday. And um, Wendy's Chili. We finally, I finally got that. They've been out of the Wendy's Chili at our Walmart. And uh, I looked at, I found it at uh, Kroger, but it was almost $6 a can. It was like five something a can. And I said, no. I'm not paying that, and it was ended up being 4.42, I believe it was. So we're going to be trying that. We don't usually try too many hot foods, but uh, that one's everybody's interested in, seeing what it's like, and we think so, or hearing what it's like, I guess, and seeing it. We'll show it, of course, um, but we'll try that on the next Logan's uh, Awesome Snack Reviews as well. And I think I got something else, but I can't remember what it was that was new. Um, for dinner, we uh, ended up yesterday getting the uh, Super Sub at Walmart, and they, it's a big sub. I mean, uh, the, the bread is really long. I don't know how much it is. It's, it, I believe it's over a foot, but um, we fixed it up with some veggies and stuff and had bought some uh, of their original potato salad, which is my favorite, the one at Walmart, and uh, it's about the same price as Aldi as well. Uh, so we got we decided to do that. I, I wasn't feeling that great and um, Made it so much easier and the, it gets so hot in here But what we're gonna do and this won't take much. This won't make much heat in the kitchen. We're gonna have the ravioli uh, today uh, Or tonight I mean and the salad and garlic bread what we were supposed to have yesterday um, and All I have to do is is boil that ravioli um, I fixed it before in the oven where I put extra cheese and stuff on it. I might do it that way, but anyway, it's so easy to just boil it. Like it says, that's what the direction says. But I have made it in the, you know, like in a casserole dish before. Um, salad and garlic bread. Okay, um, the, the pie pan seemed to be working out there. So unless I have, I don't do, I do uh, the least I can to keep the pests out uh, that works, you know. And so far it's been about four days or so and uh, it hasn't got into anything. Even my potted plants, I have one on a tomato steak out there uh, in my potted plants and it's not messed with them. So it seems to be working, uh, you know, if I have an incident again where it eats part of a eggplant or it ate half that plant that one time and uh, if it gets to I've already harvested green beans once but there's more out there 
I don't know how if it'll be much of a harvest, you know, but it may keep on going if left alone. So if I notice it's eaten any more of my green beans, uh, it's just eating the leaves and the stems for some reason. It's not even eating the green beans. I guess it would if it was right in front of its face or something. I don't know. But um, if I have an incident, then I'll do something next. I've got, I've got, uh, I'd have to buy some ammonia to make a spray. And I, I do have some uh, mothballs from Dollar Tree I found. Uh, we could use them or it also Epsom salt says it works too. But, you know, I'll take that a step at a time. You know, uh, if this works and there won't be any reason to, to do anything else. And I also got some new cucumber seeds at Walmart. They're, uh, I see it right here. It's, it's Fairy Morse Southern Charm cucumber the muncher cucumber they're not real real big but they're good and they're disease resistant and i don't know if they got my seed mixed up or what like they did with the peppers but the i ordered some uh, disease resistant the ones that are out there and it didn't work so i don't know if i should plant these in the same spot you know take them up and plant them in the same spot because maybe something would happen to the new ones so i'm thinking about if i can find something to make a trellis out of I'm gonna put some on one side of the uh, where the zucchinis were and the okra is already big enough to where it's gonna grow six foot tall or more so it will be way up where the other stuff will be lower and then on the other side I think I want to put the radishes some radishes because the the eggplants are getting so big you couldn't put them right beside the eggplants now they're growing real they'll grow pretty tall the eggplants will so yeah, that's the plan anyway. Um, I hate doing it during the day when it's so hot and seeds won't do as well if you plant them right when it's hot. I think you, I would probably be better off planting them of the evening and that way they would at least have that night and the next morning until it started getting warm before it, you know, and them under the ground, it won't affect them as much after that. Um, the seeds won't germinate as well when it's really hot. That's what it is. Uh, might be even better to well I could start them in the house if I wanted to but I don't know that's an idea though because they would it would turn out real good and then transplant them up but I've, I've always just planted cucumber seeds directly into the soil and they come up great you know if this if the birds will leave them alone okay um, I don't see how they find out where they're at you know <laughs> they do um, Especially the peas. I had so much trouble with the peas. I planted them three times and they ate them every time. Even the little plants that came up. <laughs> so, no peas this year. I usually plant the sugar peas. Or, I think that's what they call them. Or snow peas. But I didn't plant any of those this year. They really, they really spread. They really get big. Okay, today's tidbits. Arcus Cloud Amazes Onlooker in Daytona Beach, Florida. An onlooker in Daytona Beach captured a mesmerizing sight of a roll cloud, a type of Arcus cloud stretching across the sky on July 17th. The observer, Luis E. Rodriguez, described it as a worm in the sky and recorded a video while playing pickleball near the Florida beach. He added that, the, that he enjoys chasing storms and capturing weather phenomena. Ain't no match. We had this one a few days ago. Surfboard stealing otter dodges authorities, so she's really a slick one. I don't know if that's the actual picture of it though. Um, but multiple attempts to catch otter 841, it's got a number now, a sea otter known for disturbing surfers in California has been futile, have been futile. She has escaped attempts by authorities to lure, lure her using a surfboard, which is her favorite object to snatch from people. Her unusual behavior accelerated earlier this summer when she stole several surfboards from people in the ocean. Just trying to have some fun. Hey, can't you <laughs> give me some slack here? I'm just trying to have some fun. Uh, it is pretty, must be pretty smart. I don't think it's rabid or anything like that, or it probably would have probably bit somebody by now. And I like this picture so much, I'm going to use it for the thumbnail. I'll move it, change it around to where it'll fit. It's a beautiful picture. This is the oldest woman to successfully summit Mount Rainier. I like those flowers there in the mountain behind it. 
78 years old, Rose Vanderhoof has become the oldest woman to successfully summit the 14,400 foot Mount Rainier, man, the tallest mountain in Washington state. Her son and granddaughter joined her on the Herculean task of training and conditioning before climbing the mountain. Vanderhoof had climbed Rainier eight times before. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, okay. Storm packing 80 mile per hour winds derails train in Oklahoma. And you think 80 mile per hour doesn't sound that crazy, you know? It doesn't really sound, you know, like it would be enough to topple over, you know, tons and tons of trains, but obviously it is. That's, that looks like an old train, <laughs> old tiny train. But, uh, yeah. Um, a storm packing winds over 80 mile per hour struck North Oklahoma early Friday morning, derailing a train, bringing down trees and pushing planes around at an Air Force base. BNSF Railway, Railway says 29 rail cars derailed near Fairmont while stopped for high winds. Crews are on site fixing the damage. No one was injured and no hazardous materials were involved. At least they weren't out driving the thing somewhere where it could have been worse you know at least they had it stopped but that's hard to believe it knocked over 29 rail cars um i was uh had to go when i was delivering uh food products to restaurants and stuff at one time up in abington virginia it was really around chilhowie virginia they had a terrible uh tornado up there and there was like a tractor trailer there was like truck stops big ones like a pilot I don't know if y'all ever heard of them pilot and uh it, it took you know I had a bunch of tractor trailers parked in there for, for people in there and I don't know if they just park them there or what there was hundreds a bunch of them the it took it took them and carried them over the road that ran beside the pilot and there was a field over there and they were in that field I was like wow I shouldn't have even, they shouldn't have had me even go up there. Most places where it didn't have any power, and, and I, I had to bring most of the load back on the truck because I couldn't deliver it. They didn't want it if they didn't have any power, you know? So anyway, yeah, that's crazy. And I, I can't remember how many mile per hour winds those were that did that, but I didn't think 80 would be enough to knock over trains, train cars. Let's see. I'm getting tired of this. I get this one thing that says Harbor Freight Winter. Do y'all get that? They, it's a million times I need to try to block it or something. I don't know. I keep getting these things saying I won something. I've never even been to Harbor Freight, I don't think. Okay, I think they had a... Let me see if I... I might be wrong. I thought they had a... Uh, this is Ibotta stuff. See another Harbor Freight winner. What the heck? <laughs> Kroger, no. I thought there was something in there. Here's a free item at Big Lots. Uh, rain, raindrops gummies. They're worth $3.29. It's free at Big Lots. I guess just for the weekend or something. Uh, where was it? I had it. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> okay. Mm, this might be okay. Uh, Feel Good TV Favorites 12 Streaming Shows. Something. That'll brighten your day. I just show the picture of watching TV. What's a recipe for a Feel Good TV show? For some, perhaps it's a mix of romance and humor. Others, it may be nostalgic storyline and relatable characters, or maybe it's just the ops opposite. Escapism, reality TV that transports you somewhere far away. Luckily, uplifting stories of all kinds are available to stream and make us smile at all hours of the day and night. For, from comedies and coming-of-age stories to heartwarming reality series, these shows can help you feel a little better about the world. Okay. What's this one? Ted Lasso? 
I don't know if I've never heard of that one. The epitome of Comfort TV Ted Lasso centers on American football coach Jason Sedankis, who is hired to manage a British soccer team. Even if you're not a sports fan, this three season series is so charming and rich with wholesome humor, it makes you feel good. It makes a feel good favorite. This one's Extraordinary Attorney Woo. And I, it would take too long to play these little trailers. South Korean television series Extraordinary Attorney Wu follows a young lawyer who is on the autism spectrum as she navigates everyday interactions in a unique and authentic way. The show, which is dubbed in English, oh well, has a 93% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes and was the most viewed title on Netflix for a week. So this one is Somebody Somewhere, a totally platonic love story. Described as a totally platonic love story by HBO Somebody Somewhere is about two co-workers played by Bridget Everett and Jeff Hiller turned dear friends. Audiences watch as they develop the sweetest, most endearing chemistry that's filled with lots of laughs and good vibes. This one's Tex-Mex Motors. Watch old junkyard cars from Mexico get radically restored in Texas thanks to a talented team of car experts on Tex-Mex Motors. While the car transformations are fun to watch and very impressive, the personalities of the pros are the real stars of the show. How about Gilmore Girls? For a dose of mother-daughter love, Gilmore Girls offers seven seasons and a four-part reunion series of endearing content. It says watch on YouTube. Uh, it's Netflix, but it says watch on YouTube. The young mom and her teenage daughter, played by Lauren Graham and Alexis Blydell, Liddell, respectively, talk fast, drink a lot of coffee, and lean on each other through family drama, job changes, and most of all, romantics ups and downs. KC Promo. Uh, I don't know exactly what that is. Watch on YouTube. It says, Root for little kiddos as they run errands on their own in Japan. Oh, that'd be cute. They solve problems in the moment while showcasing their determination or independence at such a young age. Adorable is an understatement. Well, I guess it's safe enough in Japan to let your kids do something like that. I mean, you can't let kids here do stuff you know, by themselves. So it's on their own. It must be safer there. Okay, this one, Shits Creek, S-C-H-I-T-T-S. -T -T I guess that's how it's pronounced. Rags to Riches is the premier, oh, I recognize that guy. There. Okay, Rags to Riches is the premise of Shits Creek, a series about a wealthy family who loses all their money and moves into a motel in a very small town. Laugh out loud moments, enduring friendships, and perfectly quotable one-liners earned this rewatchable, lighthearted show an Emmy for Outstanding Comedy, Comedy Series in 2020. It's on Hulu. This next one's Netflix. Uh, oh, well, this is like a, what's this trailer? Oh, D Dairy Girls? is a British team sitcom that follows a tight-knit group of friends during the Troubles in Ireland. It's a beautiful example of the power of embracing humor and hardships without glossing over truths. Sister Sister is on Hulu, 90's classic Sister Sister, starring twins Tia and Tamara Mori, is still a joy to watch decades after it was shot. Equally heart-filling and funny, the six series Caesars season series captures the magic of sisterhood and supports family unit. Survivor 45 it says on uh, Netflix and it says watch on YouTube. A show that just keeps on giving Survivor has been over 40 seasons of entertainment about a group of castaways. I think everybody knows. Blackish season 8 Emmy nominated Comedy series is heartwarming, family-centered, and will keep you laughing. Follow the beloved Johnsons for eight seasons as they navigate highs, lows, and life change forever. And he's uh, diabetic, by the way. So I guess that's it for Morning Coffee Break, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. 
everybody hope you have a great day watch that walmart haul later on bye everybody and god bless